The question is, create a method called print. The method should be outside of the main. So public static void print. And it will take a two-dimensional array called A for the array. The only thing that I'm going to do, since we have it here upstairs, I'm just going to migrate this position, this piece of code here. This way is consistent with A for the array, and regardless how you're going to call it, either row, I, or J, or column, it will have the same value when we print it locally. Therefore, when we are here in the main, we can simply call print with the array A as a parameter. If we say compile and run this program, we obtain the same result. The next question is to create a method called populate array. Populate array is a method that shall take two integers as a parameters, rows and columns, and based on the number of rows and columns, your method must create and return a two-dimensional array populated with random numbers that are from 0 to 15. So the method is very similar to the items that we have right now. Again, the only thing we have to do is to go outside of the main. And since the method must return a two-dimensional array, that's the return type. The method is called populate array, which will take row and column as a parameter. The only thing we have to do here is to create a two-dimensional array based on that row and that column. Make sure you return that A at the end. What's going to happen in between these two lines? Well, we already have that upstairs. If you don't mind, I'm just going to migrate this piece of code inside. Now, notice that here visual code is complaining because now we have duplicated of local variables. So this is something that you need to be very careful when you just copy and paste certain items. In the parameters, we have row and we have columns. Both of them, they're integers. Therefore, Java complains at this point. Either you change the values of rows and columns, or you can just call this guy R and C for row and column, and you can have it there, R and C, inside of the array. Why we need to do this? Because right now we only generate values between rows and columns established on this value. But how about if we would like to have an array based on populate array when we can put here 100 by 100? Can we do this? This way we can just provide the number of rows and columns and Java will make the rest. Let's save, compile, and run this program. And let's see what happened. An error, R. R is basically here a random number that we generate here based on what we have upstairs. And here we call it as a parameter rows. So you need to make your mind. I'm going to call this random for random value. And we can use here rand for random value. Let's save, compile, and run this program. We have a very big matrix here. As a matter of fact, it looks like the matrix. So we can create something more sophisticated like a hundred or a thousand by a thousand. And when we print, if you don't mind, I'm gonna show you a trick that will slip in five milliseconds every print. It's gonna make sure I throw some exception. You don't need to do this. It's gonna make sure I teach you something real cool. It is very similar like the matrix that you see where Neil and Morpheus travel through that universe. So with numbers, we have some symbols. 